Hi, this is Dr. Abdul, physiotherapist. Welcome to my channel. Human anatomy cartilage cells. What are cartilage cells? Let's talk about this in this video. Cartilage is a strong, flexible and semi-rigid supporting tissue. It can withstand compression forces and yet it can bend. It is made up of cells called chondroblasts, chondrocytes, an extracellular matrix made up of 10% agrican, 75% water and a mix of collagen fibers and other constituents. Cartilage is composed of three different cell types, chondroprogenitor and mesenchymal cells, chondroblasts and chondrocytes. Let's see what are they one by one. Chondroprogenitor and mesenchymal cells, what happened here is that chondrogenesis is a process by which cartilage is formed from condensed mesenchymal cells expressing collagen 1, 3 and 5. This process also involves a differentiation of chondroprogenitor cells secreting molecules agrican and type 2, 9 and 11 collagen and that form the extracellular matrix. Chondroblasts Chondroblasts originate from the mesenchymal stem cell and the extracellular matrix of the cartilage is secreted by the chondroblasts which are found in the outer covering layer of the cartilage. As the chondroblasts secrete the matrix and fibers, they become trapped inside it and mature into cells called chondrocytes as you can see in the pit diagram. Chondrocytes Chondrocytes are responsible for producing large quantities of collagenous extracellular matrix and ground substance that is rich in proteoglycans and elastin fibers. The active chondrocytes are large secretory cells with a basophilic cytoplasm because they have lots of rough endoplasmic reticulum. Older chondrocytes contain the fat droplets. Let's see the nourishment of cartilage. Unlike other connective tissues, cartilage is avascular. Cartilage is nourished by a long range diffusion from nearby capillaries in the perichondrium. Therefore, cartilage can never become very thick as the diffusion would not be sufficient to supply the cartilage with nutrients and oxygen. This in contrast to the bone, bone has a very good blood supply. Let's see the growth of cartilage. We have two types of growth of cartilage. One is interstitial growth. Other one is appositional growth. So interstitial growth of cartilage is nothing but a chondrocytes grow and divide and lay down more matrix inside the existing cartilage. This mainly happens during the childhood and adolescence. Appositional growth. New surface layers of the matrix are added to the pre-existing matrix by new chondroblast from the Perichondrium. So this is a positional uh, growth of the cartilage. It is important to note for clinical purposes that division of cells within cartilage is very slow process and the cartilage growth consists of immature cartilage developing into the more mature state. Moreover, cartilage has very slow turnover and is difficult to repair due to the fact that the cartilage is avascular and also aneural. Its growth is not usually quantified by an increase in size or mass of the cartilage itself, but instead by its biomechanical properties. Thanks for watching. Follow me at YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and for any business related inquiry, contact me at dr.abdul.pt at gmail.com.